Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Hoping that you can see most of the canvas I'm going to use because it's an 18 inch by 24 inch canvas. I am going to fill a container with some paint as long as it will come out. Okay, let's find some different paint. This and Anita's white metallic. Unfortunately, I keep one with a slightly larger opening at the top for just moments such as that one where I'll put that aside. So I have other colors I'm going to add, and this is going to be my foliage. I want to lay down a potential bunch of, what do I say, grasses or whatever. Foliage for potential bloom flowers to be added later. And I'm just going to keep, that was the, um, the Artist Loft Amethyst Metallic. This is... That was a golden hour, and now some of it's joined my canvas, which is standing up behind us. This is a golden hour, also a pearlescent or metallic from Arteza. I realize that I sometimes give you a partial name of a color, but not I don't finish. And I apologize about that. If you ever need to ask me the name of something, please just feel free to ask in the comments. Or you can always use my email address. Or you can use the community board, too community boards on my YouTube channel. My email address is below the Linktree link, which is the first blue link under the video. I've decided to put the least attractive colors together first, so I can add my more attractive colors after. That silver was, I believe, a modern, where is it? A satin finish, Modern Masters. And the turquoise is a color I made up. This is a folk art emerald green. This is a chrysocolla. This is chrysocolla. It's a prism, prism pour from Color Art. I may throw a couple of interesting things into this, like a little bit of copper. I also might throw some more black in. But sometimes I use the dioxazine purple as a substitute for black because it's dark. I'm going to take a chance here and throw some of my what I refer to as Velveeta in because I think it'll add a nice accent color. I do need a whole bunch of paint. This is my <coughs> green gold from Folk Art which is a color shift. And it reminds me of that other color I've got in there. I'm going to throw a little bit of my Decor Americana 24 karat gold, which is what the other gold was, but this one has some orange in it. So it's kind of similar to the copper, but not exactly. I really like that copper, the way it looked a lot better than I thought I was going to. And I'm going to double background. This is an Arteza Thalo Green that I added some iridescent pearl fine from Golden to. I really like the turquoise in there and I'm kind of missing it already. So let's put some more of that turquoise in there. And I'm saving, last but not least, some of my Venetian blue, even though I don't know that it will stay on the surface. And I could reserve it and keep it for last. And I'm going to want to go back again. Give myself a good amount the dioxazine purple and that white because the white brings the highlights in. I didn't put any yellow in there and I really could. And I said I was going to put black in and then I didn't but I still want to. But the bottle is closed. Okay, I've got a really huge bottle somewhere. Maybe I can get just enough out. Maybe I can't. Maybe I'll use some of my Amsterdam black that has the pre-stained wood conditioner in it because that might create some cells anyway. Now what do I like that I see in there that I want more of? This is the most, this is the crucial part of this procedure. Do I want a little bit of actual orange? or actual yellow. Let's just go for it. The yellow is a um, Hobby Lobby brand. 
Now I'm going to try and move some of these things out of my way so I can put my bottles back from my work area fairly well. Now I have a choice to make. And I, I know you probably can't see all of this. Matter of fact, I want to see what you can see. So hold on a second. Yeah. There's my edge. There's my other edge way over there. So I can push it that way. Maybe I should go sideways. That's kind of risky though. I've already got some green on there. So what I'm thinking <laughs> right now is that that's not centered. That's a little better. That's a lot better. That's still not good enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm afraid I'm going to knock my turntable right off my table. Okay, so I'm going to scoop some stuff up and try it out. So when I do this, I grab what I like and I scrape the bottom off so I don't have a lot of residual. And I'm just going to go for it. I want to start from the bottom, I guess. Grab some more, make a thinner stroke. I wanted, I wanted the paint at the bottom to drip over so I could cover my bottom edge and it kind of worked. Oh, that worked. Okay, well, you'll see me come up in a second. trying to make different marks than usual, and I'm not sure how easy it's going to be for me. I'm going to try and use less and less paint. interesting colors. I'm going to come back over here so you can see something. I'm going to tip that up so I get better coverage. People ask me how I made those marks and they're strictly by accident, but uh, it's from dragging the shovel, so I'm pretty sure you, if I can do it, you can do it. This is, that was too much paint in the shovel. I kind of want to go from the top down so bad, but there's just going to be too much paint there, has been my opinion so far. But I got to bite the bullet at some point. I guess that kind of worked. Better than I was afraid it was going to work. Just sort of letting the shovel rest and deposit some stuff. I'm going to take a little paint right out of my shovel base. And what's dripping down over the, um, over the edge of the painting onto my little few silicone mat. I'm going to have to do another painting because <laughs> I've got so much paint. which begs me to take some more time. So if I lift that up, when it seems like I'm not getting enough paint coming out, I stop.
So I'm going to assume I can put a bloom up there. And I'm going to try and use less and less paint. And let some drip over the edge where I need it to fill in. I'm also going to assume I can put little blooms wherever I want, really, and then just go back and add more foliage if I want to. I love the stripes in the foliage. I often add dots, as some of you well know. I am almost to the point where I could do blooms, but I really need to let what I've got started dry before I take that chance, because I don't want to waste my chance. I've almost got my end covered, and I know you can't see that, but it's basically just taking stuff out of the shovel. I've got... I wish I'd used more turquoise. Ooh, that's a nice shape. I like that shape. Let's grab some more of that same color. If you start away from the plant or the base, the stem, then you can always link it up afterwards. And use your little puddle to be to drag it out. I'm liking that orange in there even more than I thought I would. But it's not making me it's not making me want to leap to add blooms either, because these kind of hold they hold their own. That was cool. I put a drip down and let it, let me catch it. And then I undid that in a moment. I wanted a bunch of grass in here. Really skinny little shafts. So I'm just dipping the front edge of my shovel in. And then I let it rest for a moment. And or pull it down. Because if I don't have enough, I can always put put more on. My paint is getting a little light in the box, which is okay. It means I used it all. Got a nice little dose of purple here.
I'm doing pretty much the easiest thing possible and just dipping my shovel in and placing it back again. And I'm pretty close to, be, to thinking that whatever I might want to do could include adding some dots. And I really kind of wish I added some more purple to this, and I guess I could. And I guess I ought to tell you guys this over 93,000 of you, or very nearly 93,000 of you, subscribed. And if you're new, please be welcomed. And if you're not new, thank you so much for still being here. And if you're not subscribed, please, please subscribe. Join us. We'd love to have you. And I'm enjoying myself very much. And that's my timer. <coughs> Telling me I've got two minutes left to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to start by saying that I have over 1,900 videos, and they're all organized by topic and genre and by the hundred. Well, that's something new. I haven't done exactly that. Instead of dragging it, dab it. Oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> I love discovering new marks that just a simple shovel can make. So by, by doing that, I, all I'm doing is placing it down and lifting it slightly. And if you, if you don't get the mark you want the first time, just tip it up. Okay, so I guess I'm pretty well done, and if I'm going to add some blooms, they might be small. <laughs> if I'm going to add anything else at all, it might be small. I kind of like putting those marks in there. I love you guys. Make sure you check out the end screen video. The exhibition video has the monthly prizes on it. The monthly drawing prizes on it. And if you contribute through PayPal or Patreon, you get automatically entered. I'll send you a receipt. I'm going over here. Let's see how far I can go. All right, I got one minute left to tell you guys. If you shop my Amazon link, it helps me out, and I really appreciate it. You can find my two books there because I can in unlimited possibilities. On my link tree directly below the video, I have a brand new venue called The Gallerist, which takes my most beautiful designs, or the ones that I like the best, and adds them to beautiful clothes and scarves, kimono style, and dresses, and all kinds of really neat stuff. But if you're looking for something less expensive, you might want to check out the Teespring clothing right below the video. If you look on that link tree, you will find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and all kinds of other interesting things. I can't wait to find out if I'm going to be <laughs> brave enough to add my flowers. This looks a little like another one I did, but not exactly. I may fill in that spot. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm going to have to adjust <laughs> the position of my canvas underneath the camera. I love you guys. Bye for now. Uh, anything I forgot, you'll see in another video. See ya. I love you. I'll see you anon. Priscilla out.